Hey guys, it is a new week, which means another week of decluttering and maybe a little bit of cleaning. Cleaning. Originally my plan was declutter all January, clean all February, but it might just kind of be both. And every time I start filming, the cat is like not content with where he was. No, he's gonna go meow at the door. Okay, so I don't have any like specific places I want to declutter this week. Yeah, there we go. I think I'll just kind of pick a different spot each day, go through it. Um, I am decluttering my books over on my booktube channel. The first video for that is already up. And once you start decluttering, at least for me, it just snowballs. Like I just want to keep going. I really want to film like my next section for that right away as well. We had a real estate agent come out today. Look at the house. We're not listing it quite yet, but just get a general idea of things and that just made me so much more excited to declutter everything and I realized I forgot to take down my Christmas canvas. Normally I have like this poured painting canvas except for Christmas time and somehow I forgot to take that down. I think I forget every year. So I need to do that. I need to clean a bunch. Just welcome to this video. Hopefully this will inspire you to do some cleaning and decluttering or you'll just enjoy watching someone else do it. Actually, I'm doing this intro now, but I'm probably not going to do any cleaning or decluttering today, but it will happen throughout the week. Okay, today my plan is to declutter the kitchen inside the cabinets. Of course, Tolkien, every time. And then after the kitchen, I have a bunch of stuff I wanted to do, do downstairs, but cupboards first, I think. Okay, welcome to one of my cupboards. Tolkien, I don't know if you can see him, he's watching the kids play in the snow outside and I'm going to start going through all the cupboards. There's probably going to be some banging as the kids sled and do fun things. It's all good. Oh, Jared still has his lunch kit from forever ago. I need to see if he wants this. This can probably go though. We have quite a few dishes because we have hosted large groups of people quite a bit. But I know I want to scale back a bit. I do like these dishes. They're really cool for like serving dishes. So these I'm going to keep. I have this tiny one. I would actually like more small dishes, maybe somewhere in between the size for serving, but I'm not going to keep this one. And I'll just quickly go through the rest here. I'm debating already. We have quite a few bowls. We got these dishes from Ikea a year ago, a year and a half ago, but they're all like have scratches in them. I don't like how they look. And these ones I like how they look. They're smaller. But do I need 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 bowls? Probably not. These will probably go. And then I think that's all for this cupboard. We have eight Ikea, like big dinner plates, eight smaller ones, eight bowls. And then these are our extra plates for when we run out. We do on a regular basis. And then I've got like some serving plates for different things and a couple of different types of bowls for that. I think that's better. I don't think it makes sense to show you inside every single cupboard. I mean, that will just take us forever. So now I'm going to try to fairly quickly go through the rest of them. I did a whole kitchen declutter not that long ago, um, but now I'm a little more serious and a little less tied to things. So hopefully I'll find some more stuff.
so apparently we have lots of expired like cough syrup vitamins this one thing of tums oh this one is only in 2024 we never even used tums i don't know why we have two this one expired in 2021 <laughs> we never even used those um yeah so a bunch of stuff and apparently i have a fascination with buying peroxide or someone's buying lots of peroxide and we never use it so that was successful it's not a ton of stuff but it cleans out the cupboards and also like speaking of cleaning i need to go in and wipe down all the cupboards yet but that to me is a project for a different day okay it is another day and i'm sitting in my office i just barely filmed a clip for a patreon vlog because we're reading an agatha christie and i'm sitting here in like the messiest of messy places i don't know if you guys have a place in your house where just things go to die uh, but that's what my office is uh, for various reasons it's a disaster i'm going to kind of show you why what's all going on here um mostly because i keep telling the kids oh just put that in my office and apparently they just put things everywhere um, this is some of my mess as well, so I'll turn it around, I'll show you, and then I want to clean it up and then do some decluttering and rearranging in here. When I switched things around a while ago, I did some things that now I'm like, why did I do that? So I'm going to change things around a bit. Okay, here's just a brief overview of how things look. It's just kind of piles of things everywhere. Here's what's actually going on. There's a stack of books I need to take pictures of. Here's boxes that I'm going to be using for decluttering that I want to put like stuff that goes in thrift stores in, to, in that goes to the thrift store in. I've got a cart that I'm going to put up for sale. My chair I was just sitting in. Books on the floor and books up there from a video I filmed yesterday. And that thing that those books are on are is supposed to be beside my desk over there and that stuff that's on the floor over there is supposed to be on top of there and then there's more stacks of books of course these are books my daughter's getting rid of those are books that need to go back to the library and that bin is a bunch of books that i'm going to be unhauling or i did do an unhaul video for that i need to bring to my local used bookstore to try to get some money for that chair is just hanging out here because it has nowhere else to go. Same with those pillows. And then what I want to do is clean all that stuff up. Um, in here, I have light bulbs that I need to put on a string of light bulbs. I have a bunch that are burnt out. These ones are good. What I want to do is move this thing over to the middle here, put the printer back on top. I used to have it like that. I'm gonna change that back and then organize a little bit. And if I have time, go through my craft supplies a little bit, see if I need to, if there's anything in there I can get rid of. So this should look better in a few minutes, hopefully.
Okay, I've been all about atmospheric lighting lately. So I'm gonna try putting those lights here in our room somewhere. I'm not really sure where, but I'm gonna try a few places. I'm not sure that's gonna end up staying, but I like the idea. I'm gonna think on it. Okay, Rika is vacuuming upstairs. Pretty sure that's gonna come through. But I want to go through this dresser that I can't wait to get rid of, honestly. Um, but I have a bunch of craft supplies in here. A lot of which I know I want to keep. It's a lot of papers and things for pen pal letters and crafting and that kind of thing, lots of envelopes. Um, I wanna keep a lot of it, but there's probably some stuff I can get rid of, so I'm gonna do a very quick once over, find a few things to get rid of. This, um, what's her name, Olivia, box is where I keep my, <laughs> it's where I store my stuff, my postcards for Patreon. It's actually very convenient. I also like to collect tins for crafting supplies. This one has some tea bags for mixed media stuff, like used tea bags that are ripped apart. This one I think has stamps, a few different kinds of stamps. And then I think this is papers, scraps of papers. It just makes it look cuter. We've got Valentine's from years ago. Um, when your kids are homeschooled, you don't go through a lot of Valentine's, but because I have a kid in kindergarten this year, I can actually use some of these up. I'll put those somewhere so I actually remember about them though. And then I keep a lot of my pen pal letters in here that I receive. Um, and I have a full box full of pen pal letters I've received. It turns out there's not much to get rid of in here. This also holds Reka and Ephraim's pen pal letters, at least some from quite a while ago. And then a bunch of filled hard drives. So, most of this is gonna get put back, but I do have some tins that I'm gonna get rid of. I have a number of these in my other crafting thing filled with stuff, but these are empty. And then a long time ago, I bought this package of postcards. Um, it's bookstore postcards, and it, honestly, like I, I sent some of them to people, some of them were fun, but so many of them are just like not very good pictures or like, I don't know, they just look like pictures that anyone took. Like this is a terrible picture of a cat. Yes, there's some books there, but like, I wouldn't send these to people. So I think I'm going to get rid of these. Those are the ones that I didn't want to send. Now Tolkien's coming into the bottom of the cart here to find a spot to rest. And then I made some, I need to open this. I wanted to make my own bookish postcards to send. Sorry about the shaking, that's all Tolkien. Um, so I made some, because of Tolkien, I did a rag doll on stack of books. So these are gonna be going to people randomly, like when I have a patron of the month or something like that. And I might eventually sell some of them. I'm not sure yet, but these will go into here because they should fit. They should be the right size. Oddly, they don't fit, even though they're supposed to be four by six. Okay, they don't fit. Do I keep the box though? Uh, maybe I'll just also get rid of the box. How am I supposed to do the next level if you're in there? I think I'm gonna end up moving a bunch of these papers from this 
Macintosh's box into something else that's on my next level. And I'll put the little postcards in here. That's cute. You're, you're kind of in the way. Now this one has more just like supplies of papers and things to send. And this little baggie here is where I'm gonna put the random scraps of paper. There. Okay, just a quick little clean out, but here's what I'm getting rid of. Some of those tins. Um, this is a book stand that I just haven't used. Some garbage, some cards that I honestly don't know where they're from. Some, like a huge stack of postcards, plus the box. Rika put these in my office, they're little um, clothespins, which I don't think I have a use for. I am gonna keep these ones because, I mean, I'm all for all things like llama and alpaca themed. Oh, this guy, he's the cutest. Look at that, that one's cute. Um, and then I have a book that I might end up using for a project I have in mind. And then the Valentines, which we will use a bunch of right away here. So, I don't know, that's a decent amount of stuff for a few minutes. Tolkien is back in the cart. So I'm going to close out this decluttering vlog for this week here. There will be more in this series. There's so many things to go through, but I hope you guys had fun joining me and that you feel inspired to go clean your house, declutter your house if needed. <laughs>